Hello everyone, it is a Tuesday night. I've decided to mix things up a little bit and decided to come live on a Tuesday this week. As you pop in, feel free to let me know where you're viewing me from. Also, let me know if you share my video because I like to reward my sharing folks. Just a disclaimer for anybody watching the replay, you can share my replay even when I'm no longer live, but if you do see that red button right there in the corner, that means I'm live in person right now. If you wish to claim anything watching it as a replay, take a screenshot or give me the number of the item that you would like, and I will be more than happy to set that aside for you. If you are shopping with me for the very first time, in the description of this video, you will see a link to my postable. Please give me your address. It's for my personal use only. So that if you claim a piece, I can one, have your address so I know where to ship it. And two, I can have your email address so I can send you tracking information on any online orders that you make that need to be shipped to your home. My shipping rate is $4.00 and I ship once a week unless you request otherwise and each piece featured in this live will be lead and nickel free for the low price of five dollars and twenty four cents that does include a small fee for taxes if you are joining me and you have the word of the night please feel free to drop it in the comments below and if you would like to get on my text alert to receive the word of the night you can text at AHJVIP to the number 81010 and I will gladly send you a text reminder anytime I get a new shipment, there's any news from paparazzi, anytime I go live or anytime I'm running a contest or a giveaway. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram right here on Facebook and on YouTube. With that being said and done, I think I'm going to do just a little bit more housekeeping real quick and we'll get on to showing some sets. As you pop in, let me know what you've been up to today. Let me know where you're viewing from and let me know what your weather's like. I'm always curious to see what the weather's like on other parts of the country. It is almost mid Oh, we have a viewer. Thank you for joining me. Feel free to say hello and let me know where you're watching me from. It is almost mid-July, and for us that means it's almost time to get ready to go back to school. I see Cynthia. She's hiding up there in that corner. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Roshinda. How are you, my dear? Roshinda recently got married. We are getting ready to start thinking about going back to school. How's your weather in Houston? I've heard it's been kind of mixed lately. Cynthia, if you have the word of the night, feel free to drop it in the comments. We're just going to show a little mishmash of some things and some sets. And just see where the night takes us. Just a little update on Paparazzi Snow. If you're interested, he is doing much, much better. And he's back to his ornery little self. I'm sure that he'll be meowing throughout the evening. As he always does. <laughs> as you can hear, I got... Oh, there he is. You telling the friends hello? Oh, that was a little one. How are you, Nicole? I bet you're probably exhausted, my dear. I know it's late for you. If you share the video, let me know so I can get you in for a monthly share drawing. Out of hell. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Cynthia. What's the word, pink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think somebody put Utah on boil. All right, what do you say we get started? We're going to show 
some of Cynthia's favorite. We have brown coming out. Oh, and here's an update too. See this little guy? This little guy is getting retired after tonight's live. We have a new one coming. So hopefully by midweek next week, we'll have a bigger display to help serve us a lot better. Ooh, what do we have here? All right, our first piece of the night is going to be this silver necklace. And it's set on this really chunky chain with all of these. Yeah, brown necklace is supposed to be brown. It is brown. With all these hammered ovals. Let me show the mister. The rhinestones are brown. No, we're going to be showing them. Yeah, but I just realized something that I had forgotten about this piece. We need to flip it over. Here we go. So there you've got your hammered ovals. And on each one of these ovals, there is a almost a root beer brown rhinestone. And of course, I'm going to bring you in to show you closer. You haven't been home for long. You'll have to tell me more about your adventures in your going to school. I'm interested in hearing how that goes. Here you can see all that hammer detail and I don't know how they managed to do it but with the effect they use it pops that light right onto each one of those discs and there you can see that brown rhinestone that hangs at every oval and I'll go ahead and show you the bonus earrings while I have that lens in place thank you Cynthia there's those hammered ovals that match the ones down below i've got one of these left uh -oh. okay i can't wait for the big announcement if you would like to purchase this one the number on it is number 317 number 317 and because I failed to mention it earlier it does have that lobster claw clasp and here is your two inch extender all right what do we have next boss man all right down that share real quick I will be doing that drawing at the end of the month if you are a member of my VIP group there's also the option of a grab bag. You pick the size, and I'll pick it for you. All right, this one has been a little disheveled, so we'll show the earrings first. She's all intact. I just haven't taken a moment to put her back on her card. Here are your bonus brown wooden bead earrings with that hoop and of course i'll go in greater detail this one needs to go in and fix it it's not broken i just need to give it some love i need to just switch out the backs on it all right let's get this piece out i know you've seen it because if you've watched me live You've seen this on me many times. I'm just trying to get her looking her best. And she looks like she's been out all night partying. Just about got her. One more. There she comes. Alrighty. Let's take a look at Charmed, I am sure. You'll see that it's got that generous thick chain going down to these even thicker links. There is a faceted bead in that dark chocolate brown. There is a silver spacer. I'm going to move my camera just a little bit so that you can see a bit better. There's your silver spacer hiding up in there. And there's an amber bead in that big silver high polish. And there's another silver disc a darker root beer bead 
there is a silver ring. There's your stopper. And down at the end here, you'll see that the links are braided with a white and a brown suede. There is a almost an Aztec coin. There is your heart, and it says with all your heart on one side, and it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Luke 10, 27 on it. And then we have a set of links here. There's that brown bead. There's your large flower with that brown rhinestone in the center. And hiding down in here is a little strawberry as well as a heart, another brown bead. And this looks almost like a flower or a seed. And I'll bring it in closer so you can get a good look at all of that. All right, I'm going to take it off and show you. There is that brown. It's almost a copper and black bead. There's that cap and that ring. And I know it's hard to see, but there is a bit of detail right up in there. Here's that seed or flower. And this is a dangle that matches identically to your earrings. There's your strawberry up in there. Here is that flower with that brown stone right in the center. There's your link right there. And there's your heart with your scri scripture engraved. There's the front side right there. And there's your scripture right there. And here's that tribal coin right there. You'll see it has a bit of antiquing on it. I don't know how to describe that other than it looks like some kind of tribal coin. And then here you can see the leather in the brown and white that's been laced in between the links. Also, we do have that two inch extender right down here along with our lobster claw clasp. If you would like this one, I have this one in not only brown, but in black as well. This is part of the Blockbuster collection. And what that means for you is that I can get it almost any time of the year. If you'd like one of these, we'll give it the number one Number one for that guy. Where's Teresa at? I'll show you. I've got two. Baby. Hmm. i got to switch those out. They discolored, but I have, I have new ones. It happens. Alright, our next piece is a, another one of our blockbuster collection and we'll start off with your bonus fish hook back earrings there's lucinda and you shared too thank you so much dear how's little leo tonight okay all right well you tell her that my video will be up on youtube tonight so she can watch the replay later. Oh, no problem, dear. You know I love those phone calls. Here we've got that light brown, high polished bead. And here's that brown ribbon. We have a ribbon on this piece in lieu of a chain. And this one is difficult for me to maneuver a little bit because I can't use my bust. It's too small, but we'll make do. There's that brown bead right here, and a beautiful ornamented silver flat 
bead there's another brown bead and as we get down here you'll see there's a silver bead and what we call the planet and it trails all the way down to all of these beads and in the middle section there are these silver flat discs with the open airy peekaboo sides this piece Naughty but still cute. Isn't that the way they all are? This piece is a unique piece because you can literally tie this at any length you desire. I've heard of people using it for a belt. You could wear it any way you want to. And I have this one in a total of five colors. I have it in black, white, pink, purple, and blue as well as this brown. If you'd like this one, the number is 109. Number 109. They're always that way. What was he standing on top of Lucinda? I saw that he had climbed on top of something, but I couldn't quite make out what it was. All right, we have a ring for all of my ring lovers. And I know Cynthia likes her rings just as much as I do. Here we've got a more dainty ring set in silver with that open airiness on either side. And you will see the dot motif. I know it's out of focus. And there is that thin stretchy back. Good for sizes 6 to 11. Oh, he's become curious, huh? That happens to every kitty, I promise. <laughs> or at least every kitty I've ever had. Alright, let's look at this guy. Up really close. It does have a bit of that antiquing right across the middle to give it that vintage feel. And you can see there the dot motif that surrounds that I would call that almost a caramel brown or a coffee with creamer a shade and there's your open airy side there as well as there and there's that stretchy back I have one of these guys left and the number on it is number 181 number 181 I could only get on side arm so, okay <laughs> yeah they have a bad habit of claiming our furniture all right what do we have next we have an urban this is set in a tan micro suede it is a wide urban and there you can see how it's been split to help it conform to your wrist. There's your double snap. And you have two rows of snaps to adjust your diameter. And for display purposes, I'm going to snap it up really quick and then we'll show all that detail. Oh my goodness, these are stiff today. I'm going to show you from a distance because I know it probably won't focus on all of the bling but there is the front this is set on your largest diameter right there and then I'm hoping we get some rain tonight I know earlier it was trying to thunder a bit These are a lot of fun. Come on. All right, there we go. And this is your smallest diameter on this one. And let's get that lens on and take a look at all the bling on this one. Because this one has something unique into it. They are fun because I believe they are almost a seasonless piece. All right, first we've got these rectangle rhinestones 
And then there's a row of silver rhinestones. There's a rectangle again. And that link chain. But hiding up in there are little chips of hematite colored rhinestones. And there's your bottom chain. And the rectangular rhinestones. And then down here is your circular rhinestones. And more rectangular rhinestones. I figured he'd like those mice because they're laced with catnip. And they're one of Snow's favorites. We can't keep them in the house. We buy them and they disappear. So there you can see once again all the bling on this one. And this is such a light tan. I would wear this almost all year round. But that's just me. I've never conformed to any rules. If I like it, I wear it. I have one of these left. Sorry. And the number for this one is the number 333. Number 333. Whew, it's a hot one still. Need to get a little bit of juice real quick. I forgot to tell Nicole before she left that I was wearing my new lipstick. She'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> he got a little wild and crazy on you, did he? Hmm. I wish I could do it, but I'll do it afterward. All right, this is a fun piece. And this one has a hidden secret. This is a stretchy bracelet. Let's get that tag over this way. How's that? There we go. And you can see the high polished silver bead. And you've got the silver spacer in the middle. And that polished, it's almost like a, what'd you call that? More of a chocolate brown. Chocolate brown not quite I saw those not quite a brass but it's a chocolate brown bead but do you see the hidden surprise in there does anybody know what the surprise is on this piece I'll sneak that lens on and I'll show you each one of these little silver spacers has a rhinestone going all the way around each one of these silver spacers that go all the way across the entire circumference of this bracelet so not only do you get that high polished silver and that deep brown but you get that little glint of bling and glam right there Hiding right in the center. I have one of these left. And this is a generous stretch. I know some of them are tighter than others, but this one is quite generous. And I have one of these guys left. And it's number 385. Number 385. This would make a good anklet as well. And now we have a set of, you know, this would almost go with that necklace. This is a set of bracelets that would match that necklace that I first showed at the beginning of our live. And it has one, two, three, four, five bracelets in total. You get the entire set of five. And there are two different types, so we'll just focus on the two. There is this bracelet right here that's just your high polished silver. And then there's this one here that has that brown rhinestone. I also have this particular set coming in different colors as well. But there you can see there's that gorgeous brown rhinestone. And the rhinestone goes all the way around the bracelet. These are all independent. 
you have a total of three of the high polished silver and three let's see there's three high polished silver and two of these with the rhinestones and the entire set is only five dollars and twenty four cents that makes it almost less than a dollar a bracelet I've got one set yep these are a bangle they're independent bangles they're just hooked together by their tag and the number on the set of bangles is 169 169 all right next we have the last piece that I have out right now in brown and it is another ring but look at all those coffee colored brown stones we've got six of these stones they are not a crackle they are just a matte finish brown beat bead right in the center and we'll bring that lens out and take a look up close this is set on the wide stretchy back and there you can see there's your three matte finished beads with the dot motif all the way around and that silver dot in the center a little bit of antiquing around it to give it more of a vintage feel and like I mentioned there's six of these brown beads in total and there's that wide stretchy back that'll fit sizes 6 to 11 and the number on this piece is number 116 number 116 for that one all right what color are we moving on to next all right he said to give him about 30 seconds and he's gonna switch out to our next set does anybody have any exciting plans this week? I know the beginning of the month, Daniel and I were blessed to have our little great niece born. And we are expecting new arrivals any day now. We have a great nephew coming as well as a nephew. Wouldn't that be fun as a necklace? All right, it looks like we might be pulling out blue. 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 So let's get started with this blue ring. And I happen to know that I ordered something recently. Which one? There's Madison and Chelsea. And Chelsea is the one that just had her baby. And her baby girl is Charlie. And mama and baby are both well. Look at the color of this blue. Now, if you watched any of my piece of the day, you'll know that I have some more of this blue in a piece called Titanic Twinkle. And from the last I heard, Chelsea is doing well, and so is Madison. And there's that gorgeous blue stone. And if I can catch the light just right, you'll see that it's surrounded by row after row after row of rhinestones. This is set on a wide stretchy back. Good for sizes 6 to 11. And this is a really comfortable ring. They are both doing well. I know Madison cannot wait to meet her little man. He's due any day now. Her official due date is on the 17th. I'm going to go ahead and try this one on. As you can see, she's large and in charge. But this one is so comfortable. I could easily wear it all day and it has that nice lower profile so it won't get caught on your clothing 
Or if you're trying to reach something in a handbag or in a drawer, you don't have to worry about it getting caught. The number on this one is the number 250. 250 for that one. I just cannot wait to see the pictures. And then in mid-August, my youngest brother is due to have his third son. So it's baby season for us. And I could not be happier. Babies are such a sweet little blessing. Oh my goodness, what are you two up to? Okay, these are some fun Mandela style earrings in silver. On that fish hook back, there's your bonus earring back. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up because it's so faint, but on the front, you will get to see the faintest little bit of there's a little bit of a blue detail sometimes the camera picks it up sometimes not there you go there's that blue that's the blue I'm looking for it's got that little bit of a blue accent all the way through it goes all the way around that center if you'd like these the number on these is the number 156, 156. <clears throat> All right, what do we have next? Not that one. Um, I'll take those earrings later. All right, this necklace is one that tried to trick me. Because I purchased this necklace a little bit ago. And then just recently I purchased what I thought was an exact copy. Mm -hmm. So we'll start off with your complimentary earrings. There's that paparazzi tassel on that silver fish hook. And you'll see it's on a finer chain. It does feature that two inch extender and the little lobster claw clasp. And the thing that tricked me is I bought this piece just this week and I thought, oh no, I already have this piece. Well, I was right, I have this piece, but this is a different color. There's your floral pendant and you'll see that there are little turquoise oh my goodness let me give this one a little bit of love for a second there are turquoise as well as brown beads that hang down over top of the pendant and the one I bought this week is exactly the same but they are brown and orange not brown and blue there we go. Now you can see it. There's a cluster of blue beads and a cluster of brown wooden. And we'll bring that lens in. And there we go. Now you can see the floral, like almost a harvest pattern with all the leafing. And it looks like a little sun up here. And there's the beads that hang right over the front there and I have one of these left and the number on this one is going to be number 173 number 173 let me make a note real quick Which one? The earring. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, now we have a adjustable cuff bracelet. And this is a unique bracelet. It has both silver and blue beads that you can see right there. And this one you just 
give it a little squeeze on either side and you'll see that that opens right up and then as you release it shrinks it back down to the original size I've got one of these left and the number is 139 number 139 for the adjustable cuff and all you have to do is give it a little pinch right on either Stop. side of the spring do not scratch my furniture buddy go no, to your scratch not. post he's not you getting nosy yeah hey we got mr nosy posy and i'll bring you in closer so you can see the blue on those beads as well let's take a peek see it's been a minute since I've seen these up close. And there's those almost a midnight blue or a navy bead. And there's your silver beads. And they do slide across. And as I mentioned, you just give a little squeeze here and a little squeeze there. And that'll open it right up for you. Alright, what's our next piece? Bear in mind the necklace is reversed from the earrings. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they get that way. We'll start off with our bonus earrings, and these are in a blue, it looks like almost a moonstone or tiger eye on that fish hook back. There's your inch and a half extender right, oh come on, right there. And there's your lobster claw clasp, and this comes down to this blue pendant and it is a dark cat eye or moonstone that you can see right there and these outer pieces do swing independently the stone is attached to that one by the silver overlay on the back so I'm letting you catch a glimpse of that moonstone because if the light hits it just right, you can see that little shimmer of the moonstone. And I'll bring it in for a closer look on it. Alright. There is your... There's that back. Like I said, a lot of times paparazzi will even put a little hammer detail on the back. And here's the pendant from the front. And there you can see that cat eye effect right there in that deep navy blue. I've got one of these left. This is back when I was only buying one of everything. Live and learn. But if you would like, oh, you're right there, reversed. Mm -hmm. If you would like this guy, oh, come on. We'll give this guy the number 159. Number 159 for the Moonstone. Alright, what do we have next? We're switching colors. Not yet. Then this is in the wrong spot. Is that not blue? It's supposed to be. Well, it's pink. Alright, we'll go to our blue flower. Let's see. There you'll see that floral motif with the stamen and piston in that antiquing and that polished blue stone in the middle. And of course, I'm going to bring it in closer. Here we go. There we go. Now we can see. You'll see all that detailing of the little stamens and pistons. In there. And there's that polished blue stone on that wide, stretchy back. Good for sizes 6 to 11. I've got one of these left. So we'll give this guy here the number of 
number 86 for him. Number 86. All right. We have some fun and chunky blue coming up next. Really heavy. Hey, no. He's just playing with the paper. As you can hear, he's cantankerous as ever. Ooh, this is a bit weighty. These are not no. a crackle stone. They are set on this really thick chain. There's your two inch extender, lobster claw clasp, and the bosses we have two. Here's your fish hookback earring with your bonus large blue beads hanging off of there. I'm not going to put this up on the bust because she does have a bit of weight to her. Let's get you all fixed up here. And here is what she would look like. She would sit just below your collar. And you can see it has almost a facet cut to each one of these thick gorgeous French blue stones and there's that thicker chain link I have two of these and the number on this one it's gonna be the number 67 no number 67 no. somebody's got his naughty pants on tonight I am done with that one and this is going to be the last time I show this piece before I retire this one for good. This is a completely translucent cuff. It does not have much of a stretch to it. That's as big as she is. But I picked this one because it has almost a rainbow effect to it. If you catch it under the right light, you can see hues of pink and green, as well as that blue. Let's see if I can pull it out, getting closer. I love the blues, and I'm starting to love the oranges. I cannot wait to find out what the color palette for the fall is going to be. Here is that bracelet up close. And you can see just how transparent she is. Because you can see me right through the bracelet. This is the only one of these I have left. But if you would like it before I put it into retirement, we'll give it the number 168. Number 168. You can kind of see at the top here how it's pulling that rainbow. This one is going to go and retire. <laughs> oh, this is another gorgeous blue. This is another French blue piece. But look at that French blue stone. And it has a floral motif. There's your wide stretchy back. Let's get up there really close and see what we can see. There you'll see that, let me put it on the finger, it might show up a bit better. There is a gorgeous floral scroll work all the way around that French blue stone. And that scroll work goes all the way to the very, very edges of this piece. And there's your wide stretchy back right there it'll fit a 6 to 11 quite nicely and it looks like that goes with that cuff it looks like the number on this one is going to be number 338 338 30 seconds all right, 30 seconds and we're switching colors. We have almost went through 
all of my sets. Oh. But the next round, there's going to be new inventory slipped in there. I know that both of you are in my VIP group. What did you think of me doing a set of the day? Did you like it, not like it? I'm open to suggestions. If you like seeing the sets, I can start doing the set of the day. Hell? Have we got mixed colors? No, we got bags and no product. Oh, I know why. Don't worry about those. They're in my bling bag. Okay, they got bags without product. If you're pulling out pink, we'll have to pull out the bling bag. No, we'll just show what we got. Because there's a. That's why you have bags that are empty. We'll just show what we got then. All right, our first piece is a pink crackle and i'll let you in on a spoiler i've been picking up some more pink crackle lately maybe our next live we can do a shop my bling bag do a short one there you'll see that sunburst with the silver beads and that generous pink crackle stone there's your wide stretchy back and let's bring that in closer I understand that dear and you can buy just one piece of the set or the whole set I never make it a requirement and there you can see that generous crackle and that bit of an antiquing detail to this one and it looks like I've got one of these and the number on it it's gonna be the number One sixty, number one sixty. I'll piece out any of my sets, honey. Unless I tell you it has to go together, I can piece out every set. Now, if it's a set that I've made, I'm more than willing to piece them out. Certain ones, mm, I can't really piece out. Now, if I start doing the fashion fix, which is, we have five different style collections, and they're called the fashion fix. I'm not on it yet, but once I start taking pre-claims on that set, I'll have to take the whole set. Unless there's no request for the set, and then I can buy the individuals. But for any other set, I can break them all up. If you want just bracelet and earring, that's fine. If you want the necklace and a ring and a bracelet, that's fine too. That's why I put on them. They're only five dollars and 24 cents each so if you see something just say hey i like the earrings but i can't wear them that's not a problem here we've got a baby pink and a cat eye or a moonstone there's your inch and a half to two inch extender and that lobster claw clasp we just saw this one a moment ago in blue and here she is in the same cat eye in a baby pink so if you see any set just hit me up and just say hey I like that set but and I'll see if it's a set that I can take apart but most of the sets that I featured are my own creation so I have no issue putting those apart for you if you want the pink moonstone the pink moonstone is a one and done and her number is 196 number 196 oh Lucinda I'm holding on to your order until you get your financial problems dealt with just let me know I'm not gonna put a rush on that because I know I need that one please what? It just got cleaned. Oh. Thank you, Lucinda. I will add this to your bag. Matter of fact, I've got your bag right here. I'll slip it right in your bag. Once you get that financial issue taken care of, then we'll worry about settling an account. Oh, that's my own bag. Try again. 
Yeah, what, what? I don't think you want a bunch of kids' bracelets. But there is your bag, my dear. So here she is going straight into your bag. I hope you enjoy her. And I'll write you down in my notebook just so I have it on file. Okay, 196. Okay, well, I just don't want to cut you off financially, but I am keeping track of your order. All right, our next piece is a fun piece. Unfortunately, this one was supposed to have two in my order, but one of them broke before I received it. So this is going to have to be a one and done. This is a pretty paparazzi pink ring. Those are not a crackle stone. And for some reason, my lens likes to focus on these rings better than my camera does. So here we go. You go ahead and do that. You can see the little bit of antiquing between giving it that black look and the silver beads in between all the pink ones. And there's a slight fin or a fan, depending on how you want to see it, on the bottom in that open airy concept with a little bit of almost a scalloping on the edges there. And there's your wide stretchy back, good for sizes 6 to 11. And the number on this one is the number 188. Number 188. Oh, that's a fun piece coming up too. Grab my drink really quick. You gotta keep hydrated. Especially in the desert heat like we've been having lately. This is in a almost a hot pink. There's your bonus hot pink earring. And there's that medium width chain. The two inch extender right there with that lobster claw. This is a bit of a shorter piece, but it is a fun piece. And I have two of these. Let's get our little bitty bust here. To give us a little bit of a hand and I'll get her dressed up real quickly. Come on. One more. There we go. This would sit right below the collarbone. And here you'll see the smaller pink bead. There's that silver curved, almost like a Pringle little bead there. Falling all the way down to the mid over here. And I'll show you up close. Raining, is it? Thought I heard the tap tap of the rain. Here you can see up close there's that curved silver bead hanging right there. It's curved kind of like a banana. And there's your polished hot pink bead. And there's that thick chain webbing leading down. To carry the weight of the frame. This necklace is not very heavy. And I have two of these. And they are number 110. Number 110. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, this would match your necklace perfectly, Lucinda. This is what I bought it for. And I'm just going to skip right to the lens. Look at this guy. 
there's that large pink cat eye or moonstone set in a silver scroll but look at the size of that pink it's almost like a cotton candy pink and it has that same cat eye or moonstone whichever you wish to call it and there's that wide stretchy back good for sizes 6 to 11 Let's see if we can get that there's that little shimmer of the cat eye and I have one of these left and the number on that is number 84 number 84 for that one All right, what are we switching to? Uh, hold on to here. Oh, hand me that one. It just got claimed. 84. Yep, she wants it to go with her necklace. So I will put it right in your bag, my dear. And you will have a nice little match set there. Now all you got to do is go somewhere to wear it and show it off. Let's take a note while he's setting up for a little, I think it's a hodgepodge. What's in there? Uh, fiercely winning fish. Oh, fiercely Fifth Avenue set. Um, Alright, this is part of a set, but I've already started to piece it out. And I'm just going to show... The pieces individually. If you want this set, you can claim this set. If you don't, it's up to you. We're going to start out with our ring. And this ring is called Vow to Wow. And when I tell you the names, you'll understand why I call it the wedding set. So here we have Vow to Wow. It's a generously oversized white pearl I know I hope you do that'd be nice for you to get out and have a little bit of me time here's this generously sized white pearl and there is a little dusting of rhinestones all the way around that pearl And there is that wide stretchy back, good for sizes 6 to 11. With this particular set, I only have one of each piece. If you want Vow to Wow, I'll give you the number for her. And her number is number 10. Number 10 for Vow to Wow. All right. <clears throat> Two of these bracelets. All right, I do have two bracelets, and these are called I Do. And I actually have a necklace also that will match it. Uh, Let's get that lens on. There are your quartet of the white pearls, and they have a little bit of bling in between each cluster of pearls. This is set on a lobster claw clasp. It does have a bit of a chunkier chain, and there's your little extender there. And I have two of these bracelets. Again, they can be used as an anklet if your ankle is small enough. And this is number 147 for that. Number 147. All right, there's I do. What do we have next? The matching necklace. Here is our matching necklace. And this is called Tie the Knot. And this is a shorter necklace. There's your bonus pearl earring. On that fish hook back, there's that same little bit of a thicker chain, lobster claw clasp, and the two inch extender. 
Let me just get this one a little bit untwisted. There we go. We'll use our bust to show this one. <clears throat> this is meant to sit right at the collarbone region. Do you want to keep that for yourself? No. Well, it needs a number. Um, I'll, I'll just name it. I'll know what it is. And there is that single pearl scattered throughout with these generously oversized rhinestones. And we'll get that lens on. And there's your generously sized rhinestones and the pearl. And it's in an almost vine-like pattern. <clears throat> I've got one, we say, one of these. And the number on this one is the number eight. Number eight for that one. All right, what do we have next? No problem. Is that it for the wedding collection? Ah, uh, for that one. It looks like the wedding collection is about sold out. We have another piece here. And this is called Exquisitely Yate. It is a stretchy pearl bracelet with silver rondelles placed every third pearl. Let's see if I can get one of those rondelles up there for you. There you'll see, see those one or two of these. generously sized pearl. She has that one. And we'll put that lens on so you can see the rondelles up close. So I know they get kind of small to see on camera. But there is your rondelle. And that rondelle does have bling all the way around it. This is a generous stretch on this bracelet and I've got one of these left and the number on this one is number whoops try that again number 301 number 301 I need to set this aside because I need to make sure that Lisa is no longer interested in it. I don't think she is. All right, we have a set of pearls. Just, yeah. And this one is called Put On Your Party Dress is the name of this set. It is set in silver. And, oh my goodness, this is why I need a bigger bust. No side comments, mister. Alright, this is a shorter. Oh my heavens. Alright, let's try this a third time. I'm checking it because it looks like... Alright. We gotta make sure we got the right way out. This is a double strand of silver pearls and they have that bar and on that bar, can we guess what's on the bar? Any guesses what's on this bar? On the bar, there is a little dusting of rhinestones right along that bar. This is a shorter necklace. It would fit probably to the top of your bust line. And here are your bonus pearl earrings. This does have the lobster claw clasp and a two inch extender. But this is meant to fit more choker style. And we're just gonna call this one Angela's Pearls. So if you'd like this one, just comment Angela's Pearls, 
I'll be sure to give these out to you. Here we have a hair bow. Now, what did you call this the other day, Daniel? I don't know. This is a brown and white flower. And it is set on that alligator clip, which you'll see right there. Some people say this is a deer pattern. I almost want to call it a giraffe. It just depends on how you want to see it. But we will bring you in closer so you can see up close the pattern on this hair bow. And there is your pattern. I don't have any taste for these either. Set in a pretty little flower. Which one of the... Only for special occasions. And bright to rich is purple. I have. We'll set those aside because I have those numbered in my system. So there's your flower pattern there. Side. And there's your alligator clip right there. If you like this one, this one has the number of. One little second here. The number is ooh, number one sixty-seven on that one. Number one sixty-seven. We're gonna take the next couple of days and we're gonna flip everything Enjoy. into their sets. So that the next go round, you'll see some new pieces with their coordinating sets. Now this one, everybody's seen me wear this one and we've seen it tonight in brown and I happen to know that Miss Lucinda has this one. Here's that pink ribbon again with these gorgeous pink pearl earrings. What in the world? Let's see what this is. Okay. There we go. There's your pink pearl earring. And it is the exact same. Hello, Miss Shelley. How are you tonight? How is the weather out in Arizona? There's that silver disc. Your pink pearl. The planet. Another pearl. And it is the exact same as our brown version. I happen to love this one myself. If you want this one, this is the last one of these left. But lucky for you, this is a blockbuster, so I can get more. And the number on that one is number 28. Number 28. I love it when my friends pop in real quick like that. Now, is this one... I've got to use my cheat sheet on this one. Because I never can tell sometimes with these darker colors. So this one says it is in a solid silver. We'll use our bust on this one. That necklace is so fun because it's so lightweight. All right. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, dance, dance. And this one is on the card in reverse. But here she is. We've seen this one before oh i can't wait it's gonna be so fun look at the thick links on this one and those shiny silver beads hanging right off the end there it is on that little bit of a thicker chain and there is that two inch extender right there with your lobster claw clasp and here's your bonus earrings on that one we are getting things in motion that trip is going to happen. And the lucky number on that one is number 345. Number 345 for that one in silver. It's going to be so much fun, but so, so hot. Hmm, I do have a leather piece. 
All right, is this the brown leather or the black leather? I have a leather cuff bracelet and it is in black. And this is one of the Urban Collection. So a man or a lady could wear it if they desired. It does have the three size choices there and this is in the genuine leather. And trust me, it smells like it too. It has a lovely pattern and I'm going to pull you right in for it right here. Look at the patterning on this one. It almost has a tribal feel. And I love the open airiness, especially in the hotter weather. It gives your skin that chance to breathe. And I'll go ahead and show you the different... Oh, well, we're kind of used to it, but I don't know about the East Coasters. There's that largest diameter there. Here's your middle diameter. And you'll like to talk to her because she likes music. She's my music lady. There's that middle diameter. And here is that smallest diameter. And this leather is so soft. Oh, and it still smells fantastic. It's the last one I've got of that one. And it is number 119. Number 119. We're just doing a little hodgepodge of what we found lurking in a corner. Three yellow rings coming out. Uh-oh, Cynthia. We have some yellow coming out for you. I know how you like your yellow. Here's a yellow crackle stone. And of course, I'm going to bring you closer up. You have to see every bit of the detail. Look at the butterfly that you've got on that side, as well as over here. And there's that roping with the antiquing and the silver beads all the way throughout. Thank you for sharing. I'll put your name down on my list. And there's that wide stretchy bag, good for sizes 6 to 11. I just love the little butterfly that oh, they I snuck know. right in there. How much we got left? Uh, a little bit. We'll just keep going for a little bit. A little bit. Well, you know, at first I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to miss out. But the more I got talking to people, they said, come anyway. The number for the yellow butterfly ring is 285. And I'm glad we made the decision to come. I think it'll do my boy some good to get him out and about and run some of the stink off of me. <laughs> Alright, here is another yellow ring. I know a few of my ladies have picked this one up. This is the yellow flower. I figure it doesn't matter if I have the convention ticket or not, just getting to connect with people and network and talk to Miss Marilyn, get a little bit of extra training, would do wonders. There's that wide stretchy back, and I promise the cat hair is not included, but I can't keep the cat from putting his paw of approval on everything, as usual. And there's that semi-opaque yellow stone set right in the middle of that flower. And the number for this one is number 182. Number 182. My goodness, this heat is just killer. I'm going to have fun just spreading feathers everywhere. That's what we do. Alright, here's a larger yellow. <laughs> well, Snow likes to put his little paw of approval on everything. No matter how much I clean. Look at that large yellow crackle. Setting on with that fan detail with that silver bead at the top. As well as a silver bead at the bottom. It has an open airiness to it. Yeah, I'm sure he'll come out and meow hello. 
There's your wide stretchy back that's good for sizes 6 to 11. Let's take a closer look at that crackle. It just amazes me that they can get all these different colored stones with the crackle up in there. This one, my son says, reminds him of a dinosaur egg. And who am I to argue? Well, I'm bringing my cat to Vegas. He's a posh little pussy cat. He gets to come to Vegas. And everybody thinks I'm crazy, but he's coming with. The number on this one is number 16. Number 16. I'm afraid to leave the little bugger home. We might not come home to a home. So we're just going to bring him right along with us. And he can hang out in the air-conditioned hotel room. I've got two of these yellow crackle rings. Number right. Yep. And I've got my helper back here. He likes to help out, but he hides away from the camera. He says it's my job to put my face out there. He's just here to make my job easy. And that he does. What do we have next? We just got a whole We're moving into turquoise. Oh, well, we found the turquoise. This ought to get interesting because I know I was collecting quite a bit. Ooh, these are from my vault. These are Mountain Mover, and they are set in silver. And look at the teardrop on that turquoise crackle stone. Let's get up in there. Yep, I have two of those behind my camera. One of them gets a little cranky, so he ends up watching YouTube in his room, but he likes to help out too. Look at that crackle. All that detail in the iron work and all the silver bead dotted and the thing that I like about paparazzi is even on the back they include that little bit of a decorative edge to a lot of their pieces and there's your standard fish hook back and the complimentary earring back that comes with each pair of fish hook earrings and the number on these is going to be the number 172 number 172 i'm trying to design him a t-shirt i showed him the shirt that miss marilyn made up and my teenagers looked at it i will not wear that thing i'm not wearing something with pink letters on it no way so i'm gonna design my own shirt for him he's gonna be picky he's gonna wear a mob shirt whether he likes it or not I just may have to make it more personalized to him. Here we've got a silver bracelet. And this bracelet is called Cactus Country. Let's see if we can get around that tag. Try this lens here. But they will be having something mob on. If I have a say so about it, there's that generously sized turquoise crackle and that floral bead. Which, if anybody knows anything about cactuses, yes, they indeed flower depending on the type, and it goes all the way around the entire bracelet. And in this bracelet, you do have that inch and a half extension as well as that lobster claw clasp that hides right up in there these are a great anklet as well if you're looking for a summer anklet i have two of these and the number on this is going to be number 262 yep that's my dream he just says no way no how mom but honey, the shirt's black. It has pink on it. We're getting him to embrace that pink. We work for that pink. All right, what do we have next? Oh, we have one of my favorites. This is almost a knuckle to knuckle ring. Let's see if I can get it on my fluffy finger here. There is that 
turquoise ring. I'm going to put it on my ring display so I can get way up close on there. Let's see. I'm going to turn it the other way. This one has the bonus that you can wear it either direction. But there is a bit of a fan detail there. And that elongated crackle turquoise. Alright, let's see what we can show off here. There you'll see that fan detail. And the fan detail is there as well. And that is not quite knuckle to knuckle. But you have the option of wearing it this direction. Or you can always reverse it to that direction depending on your personal preference. To me it makes no big difference. I could see it going either way. And there's your wide stretchy back. It's good for sizes 6 to 11. And this one is called Desert Thirst. And the number on this one is number 195. Number 195. Looks like we have another ring coming out. All right. Ooh. We have seen this one in pink. And here she is in a turquoise or a blue. Let's see if we can get it to focus, focus. You'll see all those blue stones in there. There's six, eight, about ten of them in there. And it's got that open airy side and that scallop edge. Let's look and see if this is a crackle or if it's just a polished blue. It looks like... Come on, I know you can focus better than that. Looks like that is a polished blue stone. You can see the silver bead and a bit of antiquing in the center there. And there's your scalloped edge with that open airy side on either side. And there's that wide stretchy back. Good for sizes 6 to 11. And I think I only have one of those left. Well, I've got one left. And the number on that is number 57. Number 57 on that one. Alright, we have a handful of more pieces coming out. It looks like we have another bracelet. This is, if I'm not mistaken, nice. Yep, nice stonework. This is a bit of a daintier turquoise bracelet. Let's see if I can wiggle that tag out of our way. And you'll see there that it does have the daintier turquoise stones there. And they are a turquoise crackle stone going all the way throughout. Here's your in half inch extender. And the lobster claw clasp is hiding right up next to my finger. Right there. And even this has a bit of the detailing on the back as well. It's got almost a hammered effect on the back. Let's take a look at these stones up close. I think they're crackle stones as far as I can see. Yep, there's that gorgeous crackle. I have one of these left. And the number on this one. Oh, we can do better than that. Come on. The number on this one is number 163. Number 163. How long do you think it's going to take for the air conditioning at work to get fixed? I feel bad for you, Cynthia. I happen to work in the heat. She said no. Oh my goodness, there went my dictionary hat. Having to, not having to. <laughs> Every now and then, the accent of mine comes out. Alright, here is another turquoise necklace. There's your lobster claw clasp. Inch and a half extender. And each one of these little pieces... Of turquoise bead does have that crackle stone and it matches identically to your bonus earring. Let's get this other earring here out of hiding. 
I know you're in there. There we go. There's your turquoise crackle earring that leads down to this giant teardrop. And of course, we're going to get that lens on there because I don't want to miss a single bit of detail. It's been a minute since I've had these out in circulation, but there you can see the triple silver bead at the bottom and all that rope detail going all the way around that teardrop. There's that large crackle. If I can get in close enough, you'll see right there that each one of those beads has a little bit of a crackle to it. As do, my goodness, these earrings. And there's your sweet, dainty, turquoise fish hook back earring. You can see there that it also has that crackle to it. But as I've mentioned before, each piece is unique because of the way the stones are sourced. You'll never run into the same crackle twice. And there you'll see a little bit of a silver bead with that silver ornamental bead. And it follows right down here as well toward the bottom near your pendant. It almost looks like a silver watermelon. Hello, Sandy. Thank you for hopping in. How are you tonight, my dear? And on the back of this one, you get a bonus crackle because you can see the crackle on the back side as well as on that front. And there's your little pattern in a silver inlay. I've got one of these left. So if you'd like one of these, we'll give this one a number of 142. Number 142. I'm going to take a note real quick. Scroll. And I'll refresh those comments too. Let's give it a little swipey swipe. Swipe in and swipe back. And fly to the bottom. For some reason lately, when I scroll through my comments, it takes me all the way back to the top. So it takes me just that little extra second. All right, this piece is a cuff bracelet and it is set in brass. It does not have much of a stretch to it, but it can be carefully adjusted to fit any wrist and will come in closer. This one, the design always reminds me of teeth. Maybe it's just the shaping. But there you can see the turquoise stones that go all the way throughout that circle. And I do believe it doesn't want to show on camera, but there is a slight crackle to the stone there. I've got one of these left. It is sized a bit on the smaller side, but with the slightest gentle tug, you could extend that or tighten it, whatever your need would be. And the number on this one is going to be the number 290. Number 290 for the brass. All right, we've got more turquoise yet. Two more. Two more pieces of turquoise, and we've made it through the turquoise. Well, this one says it's blue, but it's actually turquoise. No, that is turquoise. I just wrote down what it said on the card. Yeah, and the card says blue. Yeah, well, I say turquoise. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Sometimes the colors are a little bit different than mine, but we'll make it work. All right, this one is another turquoise necklace. This is a bit longer than the ones that we've seen tonight. And you can see that large blue turquoise crackle and that smaller turquoise crackle. It is on a bit of a thicker chain. And at the very top, we do have our inch and a half extension lobster claw clasp. And here's the bonus earrings. I'll flip this back on the bust and we'll take a look at the crackle. I cannot wait for my new bust 
come in it's going to make showing these pieces off so much easier but here we go oh my goodness what are we doing over here we need to get there we go there's that crackle and if you compare the stones crackles are not in the same spots but both rows do have that bit of crackle effect to them and I'll show you those delicate earrings up close as well. Here are your crackle stone earrings. Let's see. Right. There we go. Now I can get you way up in there. I know you don't see much of a crackle. But there is a crackle hiding on the back side of these. I've got want well, one of these left. And the number for this one. We'll slip it up here and give it a number real quick. The number on this one will be the number 323. Number 323 for that one. And this is something that recently hit my paparazzi website as a re-release. And this one is called Stone Cold Couture. And it is a statement ring. Look at that gorgeous square crackle stone. And the bit of a almost an arrow like effect at the top and the bottom. But once I get in here we can see it looks like it has fans around it on yeah. either side. As well as an arrow on either corner. It is set on that wide stretchy back. Good for sizes 6 to 11. And I've got one of these available. But it is currently for sale on my website which is pinned in the description. So I can always attempt to grab more. Alright, here we got uh, five more pieces and we're going to call Five more pieces and we're going to call it a night. So it'll be all for the sets. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and Purple. give Stone Cold Couture the number Purple. Stone stone. of 74. Number 74 for that one. All right. What's this? This is a hidden one. It was pink and we missed it. Oh, we missed a pink one. Someone bought one of these. I can't remember if it was Cynthia. Somebody bought this lovely pink ring for me it's got the open center it is on that thinner stretchy back and let's take a look at these pink rhinestones aren't these pink rhinestones something else we call that the paparazzi pink and it does have that completely open center a very comfortable low profile ring and somehow it got displaced from the rest of the pink but the number on this one is number 46 number 46 all right we have some blockbusters coming out Copper. we have a mixed metal piece coming out Right now, so I'm going to get it up on our bust because this one has a lot of detail. This is set on the copper chain, which you can see right there. And it starts out with this copper piece with the copper beads between. That's a brass stamped piece with that pitted detail as well as the silver. And then the pattern just repeats copper, brass, silver, and then it goes brass and ends off with your copper. This one is a blockbuster. It is called a fan of the tribe. Your bonus earrings. I'll get these squared away really quickly. They like to tangle being on that fish hook as they are. 
And the way that they're stuck, they're really stuck in there, aren't they? Give me just one little moment. I've got to be a little bit on the delicate side. I'm trying to get it to... There we go. There we go. Sometimes you got to just take that little extra second. And there are the earrings in copper. And I'll go ahead and put that lens on so you can see it a little better. But that is the detail. This is on each one of the fans on this necklace. There you'll see the matching copper. Here's the matching brass right there, as well as the matching silver. This is about a medium, medium-ish weight. There's your extender. It's an inch and a half on that lobster claw clasp. I've got one of these available, but since it is a blockbuster, it's available all the time. And we'll give this one the number of 115. Number 115 for this one. Oh, we have another blockbuster coming out. This one is also very similar to the last one. And it is called Untamed. And this one is set in a very shiny copper. Here are your bonus earrings. And it is put on a snake chain. But you do have that inch and a half extender and the lobster claw clasp. So look at the detail on those earrings. And it trails all the way down to this double hung piece right here. It has that bit of a stipple look to it and this the swirls. You can see that it spins all the way around and it drops down to a silver, a brass, a copper, a silver, a copper, a brass, a silver, and ending with the copper. And of course I'm going to bring it in closer. Because I don't know about you, but I like to see all the detail. Because they're not all 100% identical. <clears throat> Let's jump on in here. Get right up in the thick of it. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's that wraparound piece. With your stippling. And the lovely swirl inlay. And there is the same swirl inlay there and that's got the same stipple effect there's your swirl it's got almost like a little leaf and there's that stippling again followed by the swirl and the stippling and then here's that identical stipple and swirl effect and this will slide up and down independently and here are your bonus earrings with that swirling, almost a leaf-like. And with the earrings together like that, it almost drops into somewhat of a heart shape. If you like this one, it is a blockbuster, so I can order more. But if you would like Untamed, we'll give it the number 184. 184 for that one. Two pieces up. And they're some of my favorites. Two pieces. We like these earrings. These earrings are called Make a Mandela Out of You. They are set in a copper. And they are large. They're statement earrings for sure. But they are not heavy. Let's get these untwisted here. And you can hear that little bit of a clank. But look at these earrings. They are a definite statement earring. They're light as a feather. 
and we'll bring it in so that you can see all the scroll work. It just amazes me that they put this much detail into these pieces. Look at all the hearts up in there. And like I said, they're thin, super, super light. Not too much of a high polish. And I have two pairs of these. And the number on these is number 34. And our last piece of the evening is a hoop. Because what's a girl without a hoop? These are that bright copper. They remind me of a copper pot. And they are set on a bonus points if you can guess the movie he just referenced. They're set on that post back. And they do have a bit of detail. These are quite simple. But look at the detail. You can see that rivet that goes all the way on either side of each hoop. And here's that standard post back. And that's going to be my last piece of the evening. So I'll go ahead and I'll give it the number of number 87. Number 87. Whew. I think we had a good show tonight. Brought out quite a few pieces out of the old vault. And I do have such a show you know. I do have some new stuff to repeat again. Plus I have four boxes that I'm waiting on tracking numbers. So I will keep you updated on the text alerts when they do come in, but I can hardly wait to show them off. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. And as a reminder, I'm Angela, your independent consultant with Paparazzi Jewelry and Accessories. Always feel free to send me a message if you'd like to know more about the jewelry, more about the company. If you'd like to join me and become a bombshell like me, we're happy to have you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Thank you so much for spending my Tuesday night with me. And I look forward to seeing you later on in the week. Have a blessed rest of your evening. And as always, stay hydrated, stay safe, and be blessed. Thank you, Shelly. You have a great night.